Malt Madness continues, folks. We're into the final heat of the Sweet 16. This is the last four whiskies that Marie's going to pick for me. Big, big thanks to my wonderful wife for a valiant, fantastic, wonderful job in picking these and keeping that poker face on and not giving me a clue what they are. So this is the last four that she's chose. I'm going to pick out two winners and I'm going to eliminate two and that will give us our final eight. And then from there on, they will go head to head. So they will be, we'll know what the whiskies are. So maybe no need for the blind glasses. If they look pretty much the same, then I might as well do them. If I've got a peat against a sherry, then there's not really much point doing them blind. So I'll come to that hurdle when I get to it. Let's see what gets through. Uh, so without any further ado, guys, let the madness continue. What a great job I've had doing these. What a load of fun I've had. It's been wonderful, but stop waffling out and just get on with these. So Marie's poured these a good couple hours ago. She's had them covered up as usual. So I'm going to go left to right. So I'll start with the gold. Wow. Okay, there's a big, big, rich, fruity sweetness. Floral, fragrant, fruity. Wow, this is a... Uh, this should ring some bells, this one. Not yet. A little bit of berry fruit, some nice red berry fruit going on there. Yeah, red berries, red fruit, some nice spice notes, a little bit of spice going on there. Toffee, vanilla, lots and lots of sweet stuff going on here. There's a little bit of a contrast between the, a wonderful contrast between the, the berry fruit and the vanilla, the sweetness. Got some sherry stuff here, I think, guys. I think there's some sherry in. Picking up a little bit of raisin, a little bit of date. And there's a wonderful, wonderful citrus note kicking around. Thinking orange, maybe some orange citrus. There's so much fruit. Loads and loads of bags and bags of fruit going on in this one. So much fruit. And there's a really, really nice spicy element as well. And I'm picking up some nice, some lovely, lovely milk chocolate as well. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful start again. Let's see what the second one does. Let's go blue. Okay, that's different. It's bright. This one's a bit more malty. More toffee. Vanilla. You'd think with toffee and vanilla, it'd be right sweet. It's not sweet. It's got a nice kind of little bit of savoury element going on with it. I think this might be some sort of bourbon maturation. A little bit of dunnage here, I think. It's a little bit, little bit dank, a little bit dunnage. But yes, it's getting fruity. So as you really dive into it, it becomes fruity, tropical fruit. Maybe some pineapple, a little bit of melon. And there's a big, big, lovely apple note. Big, juicy green apple. Wow. Definitely a little bit of spice in that one. It's a wee bit more held back. I think the, the, the gold one is jumping out at you and it's so welcoming and it's so over. It's just inviting to you to put your nose in there. This one's a little bit, little bit held back, but I think if we give it a wee bit of time, that might open up a wee bit better. But yeah, super, super stuff. Let's go green. Wow, here we go. This is... There seems to be a theme here, I think. This this is so fruity, it's so bright, it's so fresh. This has got fresh fruit all over it. Orchard fruit all over it. So fruity, melon, banana, pineapple, bags and bags of apples and pears. But at the same time, it's, it's a little bit grassy. It's a little bit outdoor on the nose. Smells like it's lots of cereal going on, breakfast cereal. A little bit grassy and outdoor, but at the same time, the, there's so much fruit, so much fresh fruit going on. Honey, vanilla, some really, really nice soft spices kicking about as well. Nutmeg, cinnamon, but so much fruit. It's, it's, it's fresh. 
it's inviting it's it's like you're walking through an orchard or you're it's you've had a, a nice fruit basket sitting on your shelf it's just so so fruity but at the same time there's so much other stuff going on it's malty it's cereal it's it's just lovely lovely stuff wow this is going to be th these are very very similar to be fair guys they're all very very close Let's see if Red can give us something different. Cheers, folks. Wow, okay. That's a little bit different. But it's it's bright, it's floral. Lots of citrus fruit kicking around in this one. Citrus, maybe. Lemon. Orange. Might even be some lime kicking about here as well. Mega, mega fruity again. So these are all... These are all fruit bombs, guys. Don't know what my wife's doing to me. These are all mega, mega fruity. Apples, peaches. It's like a fruit salad. It's like a fruit bowl. This one's becoming a little bit more confectionery, a little bit more sweet shop. Sherbety, marshmallow. But it's malty. But I think the difference, this this is the one out of the all four. Get, well, the, the blue one gave me a little bit of it, but this is a little bit, dare I say, it's a little bit dirty, a little bit dank. Some malty, dirty notes going on here. But at the same time, it's you can't get past how bright and fresh and fruity they, they all are. They're all, they're all super, super bright. Wow. If these all taste like they know it, then this is this is going to be an impossible task, I think. So, without any further ado, folks, let's dive in. I'm going to pop again some cards up as usual, and I'll tell you what they are. Well, I've already started that, I think. So, let's go gold. Wow. Let's have a sip. My goodness. Where do you start? Hot, spicy, spicy arrival, peppery arrival, a little bit dry. Some sherry notes straight off the front, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of fig, a little bit of date. The dryness goes very quickly. It's mouth coating. It's, sp it's still spicy and peppery. Comes in a little bit of hot. But that settles down wonderfully. Let's you know that it's here. Let's you know that you're trying a great whiskey. Now it's becoming mouth watering, mouth coating, juicy, juicy fruit, delivering so much flavour. This one, this is this is, wow, fruity flavour bomb. Is there such a thing? Some berry fruit, red berries, maybe a bit of cranberry, orchard fruit. Apples, pears, peaches, all of that stuff's going on. At the same time, it's beautifully integrated with a spice. It's a little bit chewy. It's full-bodied. It's lively. This is a lively, lively whiskey. Don't think it's mega high ABV. Don't think it's cast strength or anything like that. Starts off a little bit sweet, and as it heads towards the finish, it becomes a little bit more savoury and sweet, and then it becomes savoury. So there's a lot going on. It's changing. Wow, toffee, fudge, bags and bags and bags of rich chocolate. What a rich whiskey this is. My, we're getting all now. We're getting about fruitcake now. It's always, always developing. Super, super. It's elegant. It's sophisticated. It's luxurious. What a real nice whiskey that is, guys. I still feel I should know all of these, but... When it does blind, I get a wee bit kind of excited and a wee bit carried away, so I'm not going to dive in, but let's see how the others go. Let's do a quick sip and then we'll try the blue one. Let's go blue. Yeah, this is a little bit now. It's a wee bit more open now. 
Let's have a sip. Let's go blue, guys. Cheers. Again, it's a spicy arrival. It's not as intense as this one is. This is a wee bit more inviting on the palate. It's nice, dry arrival. Wow. Thick, oily, mouth coating. A little bit of spice on arrival, a little bit of dried spice oak on arrival, and then it becomes, again, it's really, really mouth watering. But this time, when is that? The, the gold one is very, very fruity and fruit basket and fruit salad and chewy. This is a little bit now, it's a wee bit more. This is oily, it's thick, it's malty, it's biscuity. Border on a wee bit more kind of shortbread, wee bit more cheesecake, and it's a little bit salty. So let's try a little, little bit another sip of this one. Wow, nice balance, nice sweetness, malty. Shortbread, the fruit's there. Tropical, tropical fruit, maybe a little bit of tropical fruit, pineapple, melon, lots of apples. But it's 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 so malty, it's so biscuity. I've seen it's balanced. It, it seems well balanced because there's lots going on. It's it's keeping you engaged. It's keeping you interested. There's a little bit of dark toffee now. That sticky dark toffee. Wow, not quite treacle, but it's it's like a dark toffee, soft toffee. Wow, and the chocolate again is here. Chocolate's heading to, into the finish, it's chocolatey. What another nice whiskey, guys. How good are these? Wow. Let's go green. is so so fruity man let's try this one gonna hatch responsibly of course okay this one's coming out again a wee bit punchy spicy assertive A little bit more delicate than the others, a little bit lighter, but it's it's so fruity, so mouth watering, so mouth coating. Again, it's juicy, it's melon, it's peach, pears, apples. Again, it's very very fruity. Wonderful spice all over it. It's very very spicy all around, but it's it's bordering on as you go through into the development. It's becoming a little bit more tangy. A little bit more fizzy, a little bit more confectionery notes kicking around. But it's so juicy. It's becoming a little bit nutty now, a little bit of peanut, a little bit of hazelnut. And again, with this one, as it heads towards the finish, that multi character's coming through, that kind of outdoor, that. It's, it's a bit more kind of cheesecakey, a bit more biscuity. Some lovely spiced oak on the finish. A little bit of salt again here as well. A little bit of salt on the finish and a little bit of chocolate. Wow, we these are guys, these are so so similar, so close. I think my wife stitched me up a little bit. I think she must have been on the phone to somebody asking them. She's had some help here, I think. Let's try the red one, guys, and then we'll get them split. This is going to be good. Oh, 
Okay. That one is interesting. It comes in and you think, where is it? What's happening? So it comes in very, very soft. Then, as it's coming over the palate, it becomes much, much more inviting. The intensity builds. It's building and building and building. It's still building now. Peppery, some lovely cinnamon notes, nice little bit of ginger. Again, it's mouth coating. This is very, very oily, very, very thick, very creamy, very buttery. Easy, so easy to sip. And sometimes that, that becomes a wee bit more dangerous because as it's developing, this is very, very chewy, very chunky. It becomes so sticky. Some lovely, lovely sticky honey going on, sticky toffee going on. Let's do a little bit more research, folks. Big citrus note again. Citrus fruits all over it. The lime, the lemon, the orange. I think it's a bit more orangey. What a wonderful texture this one has. It's that thick and oily and buttery and creamy, but at the same time, there's so much going on. It's, it's whizzing through some layers. And here we go. This is where it's changing for me compared to the others. It's gone a little bit dirty. It's bordering on the dirty you note, know, dare I say dirty, a little bit of dankness, a little bit of, it's it's heavy, it's a heavy whiskey, it's a dense whiskey, it's oily, and as you're heading towards the finish now again, this becomes nutty, some peanut, some hazelnut, and a big burst of chocolate again at the end, wow, citrus, so the finish of this one is, it's citrus, it's spicy, it's chocolatey, and it's nutty. So, wow, that's the four, folks. So they're all being tasted. They've all been tackled. How can I eliminate some of these? So we're going to have to whittle down to two. We're going to have to lose two. We're going to have to send two forward. So where am I going to start? I think this is the toughest choice of all so far because they're, they're so similar. They're all in the same ballpark. I think they're similar ABVs. They may even be from the same part of the world. They, they all sound, they all taste and smell very, very similar. So let me start, or let me kick off with the blue one. The blue one for me is lovely, it's wonderful, and it's probably going to be one of your favourites. And in this lineup, it, they're probably all favourites, but this one for me has just been a little bit more. The others have just given me a wee bit more excitement. This one's maybe a little bit more challenging than the others at the minute. Maybe challenging is the wrong word, but it's still nice, man. Wow. Let me try it. Ah, that's so fruity. But there's loads going on. Vanillas and toffees and honeys and peaches and pears. Wow, biscuity, cheesecakey. This is so tough. Guys, I'm gonna to have to crack on because this is getting on now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate the blue one. Blue one, and I can't really tell you why I'm eliminating the blue one, because they're, they're they're just so close. I just have to try and pick one to get one through. The others, I'm probably enjoying the others just a little bit more than that one. So now this is gonna get even harder because I've got three belters here. So, wow. Let's try a little sip of this. So nice. Elegant, sophisticated, luxurious. Big, big chocolate note. Mouth coating, mouth watering. Bags of spice. Bags of fruit. It's chewy, it's chunky. Okay. Gold is going through, guys. So that's going to go through to the next round. Tough, tough, tough one now. So let's whittle, try and whittle these two down. Let's whittle them down. Let's. So fruit, so outdoor, so grassy, so fruity. 
this is a little bit more. I do like a little bit of dirty whiskey. So this is got that little bit of dirtiness going on, that little bit of thick, creamy, buttery, dense. Wow. It's a little bit on the lighter side, a little bit fizzier, a little bit spicy. Okay, made my mind up. Red or green, red or green, red or green. Green is going out, red is marching on. So I have the gold and the red going through, and the blue and the green going out. Wow, you guys will know what they are. This has been the toughest four so far, guys. Love to know who helped my wife. So let's find out what they are. So I'm just going to whiz across. So the first one out is... we Okay, this is going to be somebody's favourite. It's Deanston 12. 46.3% if I'm not mistaken. Second one out. No, 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 no. My beloved Glenn Cadam 15, I've just been reunited with him after so many years, man, and I've just chucked him out again. Mamma mia, these two better be good. To knock that one out, these have got to be good, man. So, let's go gold. Oh, mamma mia, it's another 15. The Spayborn 15 marches on. So what can this you guys be? I, I, I'd, I'd love to see. I can have a guess at them all, but I'm, I've got a wee bit of suspicion, but let's find out for real. Oh, mamma mia. Craig Ellicky, 13. Wow, okay. So that's what four, guys. These are the four going through to the next round. So we now know what all the whiskies are. Love to hear your comments. Has your favourite made it through? Has your favourite gone out in the early stages? Please don't fall out of me. I'm just trying to do it. Wow, it's it is, this this has been the toughest challenge so far, folks. Uh, I'm loving now to get into the next round to put them head to head, see how they come out, and then hopefully by the end of March we're going to find a nice big winner out of all of these. Everyone's a winner in my eyes. Everyone's a fantastic whiskey. It's a tough challenge. Somebody's got to go through. Somebody's got to go out. If you've liked the video, guys, give me the thumbs up. I'm Alan. As I always say, the pleasure is in the sharing, and don't forget to send some good whiskey straight down the hatch. I'm going to pop a chart up above, guys, and it will show you the progress, who's gone through and who's gone out. But see you soon, guys. Cheers.